Okay, Pisces. So for your energy, hopes, expectations, and fears and love, we have the world. Really exciting. So what I'm getting from this Pisces is more than anything, I feel like you are at a really good place. Okay. So whether this is in your current relationship or without a relationship, it really doesn't matter because I feel like you are the star of the show. I feel that many of you have gone through everything that life could possibly throw at you and then some, and you finally feel like you have overcome all of these challenges. You have learned, you have dealt with every issue. Um, there is, you know, a sense of the four energies. So fire, earth, water, air, uh, you know, there's a, there's a consciousness of the divine. There's a consciousness of spiritual life. And I feel that you really have a handle on life and on how life works on how relationships work. I feel that you have come through so many trials and tribulations and that this is kind of your moment to shine. I feel that you are very attractive at this moment, that people kind of are almost in awe of your energy because a lot of you are seriously like spiritually enlightened. And so the reason I say this is that, you know, you understand that no matter what is on the outside, what matters is on the inside. So to me, you're going to be successful no matter what you do, whether that's by yourself, whether that's in a relationship, or whether you're looking for a relationship because you, a lot of you have done the work, you've done the inner spiritual work to be successful. And a lot of this all, and, and because of that, the hope here is that some of you are saying, I feel that you realize that, you know, that you've learned your lessons, you know, that you've mastered what you've needed to master. And so now a lot of you are having this positive expectation that if you are not in your current ideal relationship, that you have the power to create it. And that you know that because you balance a lot of your energies, I feel a lot of you are hoping and expecting to meet a balanced partner, someone that is going to have done the spiritual work that you have done and that it's going to be a very um, compatible, balanced, dynamic, and healthy relationship. And that's really beautiful. I mean, I, I really honestly don't feel like there's a lot of fear. I feel that there's actually just a lot of peace as far as love and romance. And so some of you, even if you've been in a troublesome relationship, Pisces, even if you've been in a relationship where your lover or your potential lover or your twin flame or whoever it is has not been perfect, even if that doesn't just completely sort out right away, I feel like you are at peace. You are more in control. You have learned, you understand the laws of the universe and you are really a powerful magnet and a creator and you're in tune with your power this month. So very exciting because once you create what you desire, you're unstoppable. So you can choose to stay with your current partner or you choose not to, but regardless, you're still going to be happy and fulfilled because you are fulfilled on the inside. So really beautiful energy. Okay. So Pisces, as far as the challenge, we actually have the King of Cups and what this tells me, interestingly enough, I almost could liken the King of Cups. It, you know, it could be your own energy. And so what I'm feeling is, is the challenge is since you have gained so much knowledge, Pisces, you really are at a very evolved spiritual intuitive place this month. And so if this is the challenge, because the King of Cups is like the perfect stereotype water sign, you know, in, in perfect balance. And so maybe for some of you this month is going to be because you're so psychic, intuitive and healing and insightful this month is just going to be keeping your emotions in check and not letting your visions and your fantasies and your emotions becoming too powerful to really keep everything in balance. Because I feel that many of you are seriously getting so much knowledge, so much insight, you know, that you've mastered so many situations and the challenge is going to be not allowing your emotions to completely dictate things that you're doing or ways that you're thinking. 
because the King of Cups, he he's very balanced. He's rationally, he has deep and powerful and intuitive emotions, but he doesn't just let them out. He doesn't just show them just to anyone and everyone. He's very particular. He's very wise. He makes smart decisions. He also enjoys himself. He likes to enjoy the finer things in life, um, eating and drinking, uh, you know, socializing, but he keeps his emotions in balance. And so for some of you, maybe this month, because you're feeling so many new revelations or inspirations, it, that might be a challenge. It could just be honestly that you are shining so bright right now, Pisces. I mean, your whole reading is actually really beautiful. It could just be accepting that you are balanced, accepting that you are doing really well right now. You're doing amazing in love. You, you deserve the credit. You've done the work. You've done the spiritual work and just enjoying it. Just that that might be the challenge is just kind of saying, you know what, pat on my own back. I have been successful. I have overcome. I am sitting, you know, quote unquote on my throne and I'm in control of my life and my decisions now and really enjoying that sense of power and sense of authority of yourself and mastery, self mastery. So to me, that's just so exciting because Pisces, you're probably, you know, you sacrifice for your partner. You're very giving to others. And I feel that a lot of the attention and adoration is going to be on you and people are going to be looking at you. And so that might be kind of a shock or it might be kind of unnatural or just like, I'm not used to this, but it's exciting. I mean, how exciting is that to actually finally receive, you've been working so hard um, the other interesting thing is the outcome. We have the emperor and the emperor is kind of the opposite of the king of cups. This can represent a fire sign. It is ruled by Aries. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a fire sign or a fire like energy. So your lover, your potential lover, or someone that you're dating could be a fire sign. And this is actually a really positive card because it's upright. I feel that this person that you're considering, or this could even be for some of you, as you're doing your spiritual work, you're going to attract someone like the emperor. The emperor is a very practical energy. He's methodical. He's not overly frivolous or he really has his emotions in check. In fact, he's not overly romantic and mushy. He doesn't like like overly displays of PDA or affection. Um, he's strong, he's bold, he's in control, he's completely rational, he's very honest, and he's authoritative. So this could be two things. This could be the partner that you're kind of leaning towards Pisces or, you know, at your peak spiritual level are going to attract, or this could just be your own energies because the King of Cups and the Emperor are kind of like yin and yang. You have the, the feminine side, and the masculine side and the world. And so for some of you, I just feel like you're becoming so balanced and so at the top of your love game <laughs> that you're going to really be irresistible to your soulmate or to your significant other. People are going to be attracted to you, Pisces, because you have mastered these skills. And as far as the outcome goes, some of you might realize that this is where you want to focus your energy. You want to um, it could, it, talk, it can talk about a need for discipline and self-control. And so it could relate back to the King of Cups, where if you feel like you're getting too dreamy or too lost in fantasy or illusion, you might want to kind of get your head back on straight and really start disciplining yourself or having self-control. But overall, this is all positive. This is all just about balancing your energies so that you can either continually propel your relationship forward that you're currently in or attract a new lover or just be content in your own energy. So it's like, it's pretty much a win, win, win any way that you look at it. Some of you are dealing with a uh, cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio. And some of you are dealing with a fire sign as well. So I would say overall Pisces that you have worked incredibly hard. You have been through tons of changes, many seasons, you've conquered all of them. You have, you have learned what you had to learn. 
you have that spiritual knowledge now to help to share with others. And I think the challenge is going to be to, to kind of reward yourself or to claim your own power, to know that you have mastered that, to know that you have the knowledge to create whatever you want at this point and to balance, you know, your emotions and your logic. And some of you could be dealing with a fiery personality or someone, but the beautiful thing about this card is that it kind of ensures stability. Your, your partner that you are attracting or are with, if it's going well, this ensures that this is a stable person that has your best interest in mind, that they want to protect you, that they care, that they're going to be there for the long term. It's this is not a temporary energy. This is someone that, you know, is going to sit on their throne with authority and rule. So, this is a good sign for a stable, strong partner and that is methodical and loyal and has your best interest to protect you. So I feel that some of you are already in that relationship or some of you, that is what you're seeking to attract and someone that's methodical and disciplined and in control of their emotions. They're not all over the place. Okay, Pisces, we have Shadokite and we have Teacher. Shadokite is various shades of blues and greens. It is the heart, throat, and crown chakra. One of the magical stones of the crystal world with its beautiful blue and green hues, Shadokite freely offers its powerful healing vibration. Its medicine encourages you to connect deeply with your teacher inside, to open to the wisdom that lies within, and to step onto the path as a teacher. It also creates a sacred space where you can learn and heal from your own challenges and experiences. When you can understand and integrate the lessons you face in life, deep wisdom and healing is attained, which can then be shared with others. Shadokite will assist you in finding the courage and strength associated with knowing your truth and connecting to your inner wisdom. So Shadokite, it invokes the wisdom of the inner teacher. It opens the heart to allow you to share wisdom from a place of love. It supports you to share the divine wisdom of the universe. You Pisces have attracted this card today to remind you that the best teacher in life right now is you. All of your experiences have brought you an abundance of wisdom and knowledge. And now is the time for you to listen to yourself and implement this wisdom in your own life. This is an important turning point and Shadokite is guiding you to connect deeply with the teacher within. Hold your own counsel, be your own sage and listen to your inner guidance as you draw upon your own personal life experiences to support your growth. You have been receiving signs, inner knowing and hunches around situations in your life. And this card is another confirmation that you have been already connecting with your inner teacher. This card could also indicate that you have wisdom and knowledge to share with others. You are being encouraged to work closely with this energy, releasing any fears you have of stepping into your power as a teacher. If you have asked for guidance about a specific person, know this card indicates that this soul has much to teach you and will play a significant role in your life. And just based on the other readings I've done for you, Pisces, I have felt that, you know, a lot of you have been through a lot, like more than people in many lifetimes have gone through. And the question is sometimes why, why do I have to go through all this stuff? Well, here is the answer. It is because you are a spiritual teacher that, you know, your gift as a Pisces is having the compassion, the insight, the spiritual wisdom, and literally experiencing the highs, the lows, the depths of the ocean, you understand. You understand things that many people do not. And so what a beautiful energy that God and the universe is confirming to you, that you have all the knowledge that you need, that you don't have to doubt yourself, that you are that gift, and that you are ready to help others. So um, as you feel led, as you feel inspired, Okay, so let's go ahead and do a healing color. What is a healing color for Pisces for the month of June to continue to help them be their highest and best self? 
I mean, I've shuffled this deck a ton of times and this card has come up several times this month. So I feel like there is just a lot of positive energy in the month of June. So gold attract abundance, Pisces. Gold provides clarity in decision-making, attracting abundance, expanding awareness, and clearing the path to wisdom, knowledge, and joy. Strengthen all fields of the body and spirit with gold, the strongest color for healing all illness, but use it wisely. To attract abundance, focus on activating golden energy in the palms of your hands. Hold a gold coin in each of your palms and focus on the gratitude for the abundance you already have. Close your eyes, bless the coins, imagining them multiplying into a mountain of abundance. Activate the golden energy in your palms by sending golden light into them. When your hands begin to tingle, you'll know that where appropriate, everything you touch can turn to gold. Say, God, open the well of abundance in my heart and attract continuous blessings in my life. I love it. And to me, what this is confirming, Pisces, is deservability is knowing that you deserve abundance, that yes, you're meant to serve humanity and teach and help and heal. But at the same time, there is abundance and healing and happiness and joy for you as well. And so I feel that God and the universe wants you to remember this, that it's not all about sacrifice, 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 that you're meant to receive, receive, receive as well, that it's a balance. It's a balance of giving and, and taking, giving and, you know, taking and receiving.